Hi there! Welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. My name's Cindy and I craft using recycled and repurposed materials. If you're new here, I hope you'll stick around and check out some of my other upcycling tutorials. And if you like what you see, you can check the subscribe button below any of my videos to become a subscriber. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, be sure to check the bell icon as well. So today I'm going to be doing another glue review. Uh, once again, this video is just my opinions. It's not being sponsored by anyone. And if you're interested in the other couple of uh, glue reviews that I've done, I did a review on Mod Podge versus Homemade and also E6000 Glue versus Fabri-Tac. And if you're interested in those, you can get to them in the comment section of this video. So today I'm going to be testing out two products. Uh, one of them I've been curious about for a long time is the Flex Seal, and I'm trying it out in the Liquid Clear uh, because I always like to work with clear products um, for my crafting projects. It just seems like they're more versatile. And then I also picked up this Liquid Nails Clear Sealant just because it was a clear color as well. I'm working on a craft project that I'm trying to finish and I need something kind of sturdy and flexible as the finish. So I'm hoping that one of these products will work out for that. Uh, I'm not expecting them to be the same. I think this liquid nails is going to be kind of a lot thicker, but I may try smoothing it out just to see if I can get the effect that I'm looking for. But along the way, I thought I would just test out the two products on a couple of different things just to see how they perform. So the first test I'm going to run is on a piece of glass. I just, anytime I'm working with a clear um, medium, I like to test it out on glass just to see what it looks like when it dries. And then I'm also... Uh, I've got a tin can here that I've slit, so I'll do one side with the Flex Seal and the other side with the liquid nails. I also have, hopefully you can see this, a couple of little plastic bottles that I poked some holes in. So you can see they're leaking and I'll try to patch those up as well. There's just like three little small holes. And the last thing I'm going to do is just test out both of these products on some brown packing paper because that's what my craft project is. So I want to see how it reacts with the, how these uh, two things react with the paper. All right, I'm going to start with the liquid nails, which I haven't opened yet. So hopefully it's fairly easy to just cut off the tip here. That wasn't too bad. And first I'm going to squeeze out a bead that I want to try to smooth out a little bit. All right, there's either something wrong with this or me because I cannot squeeze it out. So it is going to be a lot thicker than the Flex Seal. I guess I'm going to cut down a little bit more, but I can't believe it's not coming out. There, finally I got some out. I think it was kind of hardened in the tube end or something. So maybe, I just bought this, but maybe it was kind of old. Anyway, it's still not very easy to squeeze out. But we're going to give it a try here. So I guess I'm not going to really worry about doing the beaded. Oh, see, this cap won't even go on. All right, well, that was bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, I didn't want to try and smooth it out. It's not very... I don't know, I mean, it's interesting. It definitely has an odor to it. Some of it is definitely thicker than... than this part here is thicker than that, so I do feel like some of it dried out for no good reason. Anyway, I'm not going to be able to get it super smooth, but it is sort of interesting. Alright, uh, before we move on, since this has been so hard to work with, let's just keep going with this medium. This will be hilarious because it's not even going to come out in a, any kind of a... Eh, 
Eh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll seal the can. It's really weird. All right, what else are we doing? Um, these little plastic bottles. Where are my little holes? I can't imagine it won't seal the holes. I mean, I'm putting on probably twice as much as I need to. I'm pretty sure that's not exactly how you're supposed to do it. I don't know if I want to smooth it over the hole, maybe. And by smooth, I don't mean smooth, because it's not smoothing out, really. Okay, weird. Uh, one last thing, I want to do it on some paper. because this is my craft test. I, this is not really very easy to work with, although I'm getting to sort of a easier. I think there was just, uh, it would had hardened in the tip, but I don't know how you're supposed to clean the tip out. Uh, you can clean it up with mineral spirits, so if I had thought of that, I probably could have maybe thinned it out with some mineral spirits in the tip. I don't know, anyway. Um, anyway. This part is working okay. I don't know if it's going to be totally smooth, but there are a few bubbles in it you can definitely see. But there's that. So I'll let that harden. I'm going to figure out how to cover my tip here and I'll be back to do the flex seal. All right, now for the flex seal. I have never even opened to this, so I'm kind of curious. It says to stir it really well, but don't shake it. Ooh, dripping already. <gasps> okay, it's a good thing I don't have a really, you know. This is my work surface. <laughs> All right. Definitely smells different than the liquid nails. And it has sort of a, I don't know, I'm not sure how clear it's going to be. All right. I don't know if you can see this, but it's sort of tannish colored, I would say. So we'll see how clear it dries. All right. This is also something you clean up with mineral spirits. Of course, I don't have any, so I'm just going to throw my brush away when I'm done, but. And I may need a couple more coats of this than I, this is thicker than I thought it would be, though. So, let's see what happens here. I just want to brush some on this glass. Now, it looks pretty clear once you get it on the glass, doesn't it? This would definitely be easier to work with, I think, as far as smoothing things out. All right, what next? I don't know how it's gonna work on this tin can. Let's get this out of the way. It doesn't seem like it would be thick enough, really, to fill in this gap. But I don't know, maybe it is. Not too bad, really. Alright, elastic bottle. I'm going to put a thin layer on this just because I, or a thinner, just because I'm kind of curious if it just would. These aren't very big holes, so you would think it would do a nicer job of sealing those off without a big glob like I had to use on the liquid nails. All right, and last but not least, where's my paper? There we go. I kind of actually like the way the liquid nails looked on the paper, but let's see. I mean, this will be much easier to spread around on the paper. All right. 
It seems to be making the paper a little bit darker than the liquid nails did, but I don't have a problem with that for this, for my purposes. But anyway, um, I'm supposed to let this cure for, I don't know, 24, 48, I don't remember how long, but I'll be back when these things are all dry. So it's been about 48 hours since I applied the liquid nails and the flex seal. And our first item here, I just left it sitting on the table. This is the flex seal side. You can see that it ran right off onto the table. It didn't fill in even the tiniest little gap here where there's not too much of a space in the can. So you could, that's definitely going to leak. The liquid nail side, I probably could have smoothed it out some. I suspect that it's gonna hold because it's got a nice thick layer there. Um, and the same with the plastic bottles. The liquid, the liquid nails sort of has a bumpy finish and the Flex Seal ran off in a puddle over here again. But I am hopeful that maybe it did also feel, fill these little holes. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm just gonna do a little water test on the liquid nail side. I'm not gonna bother with the Flex Seal side because I can tell that there's nothing filled in there. I'm well past the water line or the yep I'm, my water's almost to the top so I would say I have a nice seal there I'm also curious about how sturdy this is this uh, liquid nail still has some I don't know it's kind of squishy I mean it's a very thick layer but and I think I could pretty easily peel a lot of it off of there so I don't know if that will get harder with time or if that's just the nature of the silicone. The liquid nails, not the liquid nails, the flex seal also doesn't really adhere that well to the metal. It's, um, you know, you can definitely scrape it off of there. Next up we have our plastic bottles and the liquid nails has, I tried to smooth this out a little bit, but I probably should have done a better job of it. I think I probably could have gotten it smoother, uh, but I expect that it's gonna fill these holes nicely. It does seem a little like I could pull it off, but it, I think it's adhered a little bit better than it was to the metal. The Flex Seal, like I said before, did most of it did run off, but it is a very, I mean, you can't even really see any glue on there. There's maybe just a hint of a line where I did the brushes. Um, but, but it is very much, you know, it's very much smoother and nicer. You can't really even see. You can kind of see the holes and that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little, let me do a little scrape test here. Yeah, I mean, you can still pull it off. So it isn't got the, oops, now I've made it, now I've made it really ugly. All right, let's see how it holds how these two hold water. First, we'll do the liquid nails because we have high confidence in that. And it is definitely holding. And the flex seal, I think probably even though a lot of it ran off, I think it probably still filled these small holes. Yeah, that seems good. All right. So the glass, uh, once again, I should have done a nicer job with the liquid nails. I'm sure I could have gotten it smoother, but this was the part that came out of the tube first and some of it was much thicker than the other parts uh, just because I think it dried in the end of the tube. But it has a lot of bubbles to it that you can see, but it is nice and clear. and. The Flex Seal has a little bit more of a hazy finish to it. And again, I think that both of these are, you know, they're stuck well to the glass, but I could scrape them off if I wanted to. And the last thing is our paper, which has some pretty dramatically different results here. Uh, the liquid nails seem to just lay on top and 
put a sort of glossy rubbery finish on the paper, whereas the Flex Seal soaked all the way through and has darkened up the paper quite a bit. So I'm not opposed to either one of those things, I just, they're quite different. The other thing I wanted to test out uh, with the paper is just if it made it much, if it made the paper any stronger or, and if the finish scratches off really easily. So it does come up a little bit, but certainly it's not coming off of the paper like it did the glass or the plastic or the metal. The liquid nails has slightly more tacky finish to it maybe. And they both, I mean, they're going to probably wear out through some abrasion, but uh, but they are, the, look, the flex seal is actually holding up really nicely too. You know, I'm not really able to scratch the finish of it with my fingernail, whereas I can a little bit more with the liquid nails. I can feel it kind of peeling up and it's getting rougher. This is a smoother finish by far. So the only other thing I want to do is just tear into it a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it really makes the paper any sturdier. The liquid nails was a little tougher to, to tear than the flex seal, but, uh, and maybe with some extra layers, the flex seal would, you know, be a, make the paper a little sturdier but I would say that it doesn't add any strength to the paper, really, either one of them, but it does um, stay on the paper nicely. So I think the Flex Seal is probably gonna work for the project that I'm, I'm gonna test it out on. Uh, but I do like the really clear finish on the liquid nails. So I have one last observation for you. Uh, the Flex Seal was pretty easy to get off of my table with a scraper, but I was a little surprised that it didn't come off in one big rubbery piece. It was a little more flaky and crumbly than I expected it to be. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider becoming a subscriber if you haven't. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you soon in the lab.